Yo, what's up, YouTube? Hi. Is that the, is that the intro? Yep. Okay. Welcome to Tier List Video Extraordinaire with my guests. My guests. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the part where we name ourselves, right? I guess. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're the squad, uh, Aka, Hiei, and Skashi, Long W. Aka, you can go first. Tell them about you You being the best Dobby NA. Yeah, I might be the best Dobby NA. I'm definitely the mayor of Dobby City. Uh, you know, I play the game often, I swear. Uh... <laughs> Ignore the fact that he hasn't logged into the game for over two weeks. <laughs> no, 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 I logged in for, I logged in for Cemento's birthday. That's even worse. Okay. <laughs> that's Akka, he mains uh, Dobby. Everyone knows Lug. Lug is a mount lady and I guess a twice main now. Yeah, I've been playing so much twice recently. They're just okay, too EA, how about you? Uh, I'm Black Dragon EA. I used to kick people in the head for a living when I was a uh, senior main, and now I uh, rock around a lot as a frog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I am Skashi. Uh, I used to be a compressed main, but uh, everyone started calling me best Denki, so now I play Denki. <laughs> is that the best Denki? That I is might be the best Denki. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do be we're gonna be doing a lot of different tier lists today. It's gonna be your usual just best character tier list in the game. Then we're gonna move on to some others that you will see later. All right, so let's begin the tier list. With uh, let's just go with default Andes, Midoriya. Uh, My dude. Deku is definitely yes. <laughs> now, oh, which Deku? I mean, we have two Dekus here. We have, we have... There, there's regular Deku and then there's Strike Deku. Yeah. Regular Deku is uh, the the, the, a, the S tier one. Mm -hmm, I yes. agree. Regular Deku, definitely S tier. Yeah, definitely. My Duga range, my Duga snipes. He yeah. got good mobility, good damage, range, yeah. and everything. You want. He has insane combos. He has everything. Same, huh? yeah. He's the protagonist. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't think anybody will argue with that. And yeah. fits on damn near every team copy. Uh, yeah. no, someone's gonna say they nerfed Damn Assist. Okay, he's 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 easy D tier. <laughs> Honestly, remove him from the game. Remove him from the game. You know, we can put Bakugo and remove him from the game. <laughs> <laughs> I would be pretty happy with that, honestly. <laughs> oh, and then he's got a crowd shot that can like two tap any damn rapid. It's mm. true, it's true. Like Deku has crowd shot, he has reload speed. It's too damn fast, no matter if he crowd shots or not. True. Yeah. He never runs out of office. For maybe like half a second, but even then he has a kick that can break your like half your shield. He has a grapple that can move him around or just like I said, combos that can literally remove half your HP by himself. He's crazy. He's nuts. Yeah. Very good character. Now let's go with the second one. Back I go. Remove him from the game. <laughs> Honestly, I agree. I agree. Fuck this guy. What? I'm so tired of this character. <laughs> Everything about this character. If he's not S tier, he's remove him from the game tier because four grenades that do over like 150 damage each. He His flies shots around. go through walls, <laughs> he flies yeah, around. Crazy mobility. It's funny, it's funny, because this man has been nerfed so many times. But he's, <laughs> he's still, he's still, still a problem. Here. He's still it's a problem. Here. <laughs> just, like, even if they remove the grenades, like, if they remove, like, two of them, right? He still basically one-taps half the cast. Yeah. He just needs one grenade just... to do so much. Not, not even, because, like, most of the time, you don't even know he's coming. He's, like, above you in the air. You get hit by two grenades and an alpha, you're down. Yeah. So sad. Honestly, yeah. them, even if they nerfed the grenades from like four to two, it'd be basically the same nerf as when they did Mount Lady Stomp from nine to three. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it, it, it hurts, but it's like not really. Because <laughs> not really. Good, good Mount Ladies and good Bakugos don't need that many grenades. Yeah, they don't need that many. Absolutely yeah. not. Like, I will I'm say, like, you need to balance the character around not the top of tier, but like the mid tier of players. And this guy is insane mid tier. Like in the, the material of the gamers in this game, he can do so much. You don't have to be a god gamer to be insanely good at Bakugo. I will say though, too much damn mobility for his fucking damage. <laughs> oh, and the fact that he can shoot through walls, that also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which they did nerf, but he was damaged so my butt, dude. It's like 30 damage through the wall. <laughs> it's so Like dumb. The, the, the goal is to not down people through the wall, it's just interrupt them from healing. And he yeah. can do that regardless of how much damage he does. All right, so there's the, the 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 two boys, two S tiers. Of course, let's go Shoto. He's the other poster boy. Honestly, 
He's A tier now. I will say he's A tier as well. Yeah, yeah I feel like okay, they so made now, This is my question. Because okay. are these... So now, is this a tier based off of certain maps? Because I feel like Shoto kind of wanes, waxes and wanes, depending on the map he's on. Yeah, Davi City, he's a lot better. For sure. we, we'll do it overall. Overall. Overall, okay. Overall, I would say, that, yeah, A tier is a good place for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, feel like he, 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 I feel like he really excels on the, on the UA map, but when it comes to the, inside the city, he, that's when he struggles, because that's just a lot of vertical movement, not really not really much he can do there. Yeah, he needs I to say, I, go up and down. I city. think he's better in Navi City, because like, you force people into choke points and you get free, like, way, like, a lot of free damage. You could be right, but I I've, I've yet to see a Toto, even the good Totos, I've yet to see them excel in the new map. Usually they just switch to another character. Yeah. Yeah, if there's a if you're a character who has mobility, then he, then he sucks in Dobby City. But like if, if you are the mayor in Dobby City and you can't <laughs> climb up buildings, like he will freeze your ass inside of your little cubby yeah. hole. So it's very unfortunate. <laughs> but okay. yeah. And it's with the um, gamma nerf too, I feel like they just made it. They didn't make. They just made it less broken. Like it just doesn't yeah. stay out. Of, yeah, you know, he, he seems more balanced now. Speaking of uh, broken stun characters, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he is absolutely S tier. No, 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 here we go. I think he's A tier. If this game was a it was a 1v1 game, easy, easy most broken character in the game. <laughs> a fucking just when your boys pull up and beat his ass while he's standing still, like, like you know. <laughs> he does not, have a, a, a fucking die button as well. Yeah, I would have said Oh yeah, okay. Let's, let's so I think Denki is I, I agree. The the Bozo combo makes her and Davi City makes him S tier. But I think overall he's an A tier character because most Denkies don't like warrant you like they don't force like danger. So like what I do is I'll shoot before going for a dash. But most Denkies will just go straight for the dash, whiff it, and then like die usually. It's true. It's true. Depending on like you think. Yeah, he's there's saying. a lot less than Deku and Bakugo is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so I see what you're yep. saying, Skosh, but. If we operate off the fact that they're playing Denki at the highest level they can, this dude is pretty fucking dangerous, especially yeah, yeah. since they increased his gamma and gave him two. I oh, already sure. knew then that was like, bro, this man is like, he's got to be at least low S. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like he's A this season. I feel like he's definitely. Uh, I I feel like his S. There's two ways, two S's I, in this call. I'm I'm willing to push him to S because I will say I did use to main Denki and then I said oh once I give him two at, two dashes he's the busted most busted character in the game so I stopped playing him so <laughs> you know I used to pick up for a little bit too and uh, when I saw the two dash thing I was like why in the fuck would they do that <laughs> I mean see, I is, agree he needed it but he also needs mobility. it makes him too strong but also he has two stuns now <laughs> instead I of just agree that he did yeah exactly like I agree that he needed more mobility but then there's like, also like fuck he's insane offensive yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another thing that I don't understand with Denki is why does his like why does he not have footsteps? Has anyone else noticed that? I like, have. He just appears out of nowhere. He does kind of just appear sometimes, but I feel yeah, like that's like half the characters. It's afraid you. It's afraid you. You just very loud. Yeah, you just very loud, especially yeah. when half the cast is uh, using a glitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they they start in season four or five. What season are we on? I don't care. <laughs> More on three, so four is the next season. Alright. Let's just do Kendo. all all class 1A, so let's go to class B. Kendo. Uh from what I experienced, Kendo can be insanely oppressive, but she also can be put in be put into a defense position. And I, even though she has a big shield, I feel like she struggles a lot in the defense position. <laughs> I feel like she's too demanding uh, for most players too. So like, I don't know. I don't think she's that good. On all honesty, <laughs> she's she's good in the right hands. But Absolutely. She's really in the right hands, she's awesome. I just feel yeah. like most players fucking suck with her. Yep. <laughs> right. I am most players. <laughs> I would put, I would say she's a solid high B tier, only because that she requires a lot to be good with. Yeah, like, in the in the right hands, easily yeah. like a, a, a master of, of B tier. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, in the right hands, I think like okay, so she's A tier in the right someone, hands, but yeah, yeah. As as someone who plays Kendo, I think like I I would say like low A. Yeah. 
or high B. The reason okay. being is because like on a team, like especially like if you're doing solos, Kendo's probably like high B. But if you're on a team, it could be like low S even because she yeah, brings no, so she, much. She has so much possibility. Honestly, yeah. I'll toss her on A, low A for now. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, are we thinking about all these characters in the sense of like, being if we're thinking about like all these teams? It's just, it's yeah. just general. It's just general. It's not like, oh, yeah. this one character can fight everything. No, it's like in the, in yeah. the general sense. If we're talking about like at the highest level, then yeah, I do agree. Kendo can be A tier. It's just ninety nine percent of Kendos are in D tier. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but like, I'm not talking about the player. We're talking about the character itself. No, no, I get that. I get yeah. that. I just feel like she's so demanding that I'm like, yeah. compared she to some takes a lot. Like I can't put her she higher. takes a lot of skill to play, and the reward is there, but it's not that high of a reward, you know? Yeah. You have to put in more than you'll get out of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, high level play. I agree 1 million percent. All right. Ochako. I think Ochako <laughs> is very good, but also know. very hard. So, yeah, she's in the same boat as Kindle, especially now that they nerfed her um, spin. spin win. Yep. <laughs> they nerfed her spin. It, it's not active. She's not first. a one button character anymore. <laughs> you actually need to learn how to use your other abilities. Yeah, she's really good in the right hands, but she just takes a lot. She takes a lot I of skill. Will but I will say though, I would put her above Kendo because I feel like she you do get more out of her when you're that good with her. Yeah. Like I've seen I've seen like people like Calamity Queen or like which was or someone Scabby. that like, I, I I don't personally know them. But yeah. like they, they went off on their own while we were playing one time and she just killed two people. And she barely got touched. Yeah. I don't even know what happened across the map. I just saw that she downed two people and killed them. <laughs> And that, that's both good Ochakos. They can really tear some shit up. You can know do what some doing. insane shit. That being said, you need a lot of skill to do that. And if, you, if you're yeah. using that skill on other characters, like, I don't know, Bakugo or Deku, you can just the kill the entire lobby. It, the more I think about it, I might even put her over Toto, too. She really? So you know, I agree. I, like Toto. I agree. Yeah, I think her, her, her ceiling's higher. Yeah. yeah. Gets way more reward for her things. Than yeah. than now that his time is non-existent. All right, next up, let's go with Hiroshima. I am tempted to put him on S because I like him. So that being said, I, I, I would love to put him in S. I don't think he's an S tier. <laughs> no, I think he's, he's definitely he's not. B I think at he's worst. B at worst. An yeah. A at best. I yeah, think Harry is either low B or, or no, my bad, low A or high B. But I'm leaning towards high B. Yeah, I'm kind of on the B side too. Yeah, my dude has no range. He like if if you get in his range, he can lock you down. The problem is yeah. if if you're just jumping around, it's gonna hard to get. Like he has a lot of chase. He has he two betas that can just take him along. His alphas goes around, go go real fast. But if you're going versus like a, like I don't know like an Aizawa or or a fr or a Bakugo or hell even a cement toss, <laughs> you can get locked down very easily. Before his yeah. betas got nerfed, I would have definitely said low A without a doubt. Yeah, like his beta was insane. Yeah, ever since that hit, is definitely low B. I think I'll keep him at B for now. We'll see how it goes yeah. later. Yeah, I, I just see him as a character who, like, they can clutch up, mm -hmm. but, like, against people who are as good as you with better characters, like, you're yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially those that know actually how to, like, navigate around his shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only attack he has that it's, like, mess. Like if, if they know how to dodge and the connection is good between you, you, yeah. you, they will dodge every single I can throw, yeah. except for maybe the gamma. It's just yeah. most of the best characters, either A, hard wall him, or B, they're so out of his range that he dies before he gets to them. Mm -hmm. And also, his early, his early game suffers a lot. If he, if he ever has to get into a fight early, he's going to He's hard going time. to have a hard time. He can't run away fast. He can't nope. do too much burst damage. Unless you're fighting like a little Choco, <laughs> you're not going to kill them very easy. Mm -hmm. Alright. Ida. I think Ida is... Remove him from the game. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, no. Ida needs to be removed from the game. <clears throat> Of course, we're, I'm assuming we're ignoring the Gamma Glitch, right? We're ignoring the Gamma Glitch. 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 That, that's a, oh, that's a bug man. that is not... Oh, great. <laughs> I still want him removed from the game. <laughs> Honestly, I think he's a solid B tier. <laughs> I think he's also a solid B tier. Um, 
I think I put him slightly above. Yeah. I think I put uh, him. Not, not like bias. I would want to remove from the game if I'm not being biased about it. He's either the lowest in A tier or highest in B tier. Yeah, I think he's here. I think I, he's above Kirishima just because he has the utility of a revive. <laughs> he has the great downside of burning out as well, so he just becomes like a target if that ever happens. I definitely think he's B tier now because um of the. Uh, nerf they did to his alpha where it causes more pushback it makes his the uh, combo his alpha alpha beta combo a little less consistent than the low class oh, really yeah, yeah. I, I well personally me that's why i just like switch from Ida to floppy is because i noticed that i'm not hitting that shit as I often as i used to and it's like it's okay because of the pushback right. push so this is the position Ida will be but i'm gonna give all of us one remove from the game token, and I'm guessing Skash is gonna toss him. I removed this, bro. I played <laughs> Ida like three times. Okay, hear me out. I have always hated this character. I love it, his actual character and his emotes and stuff, but playing the Rumble Roulette with Hie has shown me, dude. Shout Hie to in that video, yeah. Shout out to Hie. Thank you, thank you. Hie in that video was with Dry Buddy. And I got 10 kills just doing <laughs> stupid crap as he does. <laughs> the character, like, on paper, okay, he's supposed to be like a glass cannon brawler. But in reality, especially if we count the bug, which I didn't do, by the way, Good. He, he is super dumb. His beta basically almost always breaks shield, regardless of what percent you're at. Mm -hmm. His combo is basically impossible to miss. He's really fast. He's almost always there for his team. The only like two characters that stop Ida is Aizawa and like Bakugo Deku that are good. Cause even Mount Lady, like I know Mount people say, struggles. okay, Mount Lady can yeah, like they, she can, they, they she can, she can, can like, stomp. yeah, she can stomp and stop him. But if he's using like a move that has armor, he's just gonna go through it. Yeah, he just goes through it right now, especially because the beta doesn't. His beta, yeah, I like kicked into a mount lady, lady, and it yeah. doesn't even stop. Yeah, honestly, I'm sick of his fucking iframes and armor they gave him because Dobby used to just be able to set mines, and you'd be like, I win the matchup, and now it's just like, oh no, he just kicked through it anyway. Fuck me. Now that <laughs> I also agree with, because that's also part of the reason I stopped playing him as well, is because I thought the buff to his beta was really stupid. Like, why did that need armor? It was already really good, and this is coming from a guy who played a lot of them. Like. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Yeah, that's messed up. And also, if you're one of those Eda players in my games that go out of their way, you'll have like no HP, zero HP, and you'll go out of your way to stop someone from drinking instead of healing yourself. Get out of my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my god. All right. Well, that that's that's Eda, everybody. Next up, Froppy. Oh, I can't see this. Uh, yeah, your, your stream oh. paused. Oh, my stream paused? Uh, yes, my bad. Okay, here we go. Should be able to see but it now. Froppy, yeah. I think he's A tier. Froppy? Like, the top, like the pinnacle of A tier. I'm about to say, I'd actually make her low S. Uh, this uh, Honestly, I put her low A. <laughs> low, low A? Low A? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Really? I feel, well, and actually no, she did get buffed again. Never mind. Yeah, I put her up for high. <laughs> so I forgot I'm about the uh, about the new buff where she's like stronger than ever. I think she's like the pinnacle of A tier at best. I would say season three Froppy is probably the best Froppy that's ever been in the game. Like yeah. as in, and I don't mean best as in she's the strongest because season one she probably still shits on all of them. But oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> After season two. <laughs> She is the most balanced, I would say, and then her beta, air beta tracking and all that stuff now it makes her just her really very, much, very much more consistent as well. Yes, very much more consistent. Well, so I definitely say that she deserves either high A or low S. I don't know who's yeah. stronger between her and Ochaka, but given that she has an Insta-Res, I think she'll put her above Ochaka. Yeah. Because they kind of do yeah. the same thing, kind of. I would say uh, she's more of a threat being seen on the field because of that insta raise than Ochako is, but mm -hmm. Ochako does have more scary pressure. Than she Bobby. does have more pressure, exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah. If, if you're like the this. last person and you're against a team that has a Froppy, you're like, I have to kill the Froppy first. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah there's no and, other. And, 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 and just the pressure of that is huge. Yeah. I, I'll just say this. If you look at almost all of Lux videos, there is always a moment where either me, Luck, or someone else says, There's a frog, kill them! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we have to kill that frog. Like, the amount of times I'll kill someone on the floor and either I'll try killing them immediately or maybe even now, like, I'm, I'm more of a, like, instead of trying to kill them immediately if I know there's a frog coming, I almost let them come res so that I can, <laughs> they can stand still so I can shoot them easier. Because <laughs> it works easy, it works better for us if we let that happen. Because one, the guy is going to have no HP when he comes back. And two, we have a frog to shoot at. <laughs> yeah, pretty good deal. There are three characters in the game that are just on site no matter what when you see them that's Froppy, Mentos, and Ibarra because of their instant resonance. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's how strong that shit is. Despite the yeah, individual the character strength, instant res alone is terrifying. Speaking of Ibarra, <laughs> this is the strongest D tier character I've ever seen. <laughs> Ibarra! <laughs> yeah! Oh. Her, her instant res, awesome. Her kit, other than that, Whatever. <laughs> yeah. it, it Honestly, I want to put her in C. Okay, I hear me out. Alright, hear me out. D tier is green and her hair is <laughs> You're right. You know what? I would have to say that I she, she does. I think she does belong in D tier. Not only is her kit underwhelming overall, but also it's bugged right now. Like, yeah, oh yeah, the alpha doesn't even work. Half the time. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that it's become inconsistent and also on top of, like, not being that great to uh, to begin with, even when consistent, I would say she was here. But right now, in the position she is, she's she's deep. She's absolutely deep. Too. Her output doesn't fit half the time because of the delay between servers. I love her grab, was, but that's also a kill me button. Yeah. I would only say she's deep here if she, for her res ability alone, because she has the furthest... I think this yeah. is res. The, the thing is, her res is awesome, but since yeah. her, uh, the rest of her kit is so, like, worthless, <laughs> it's like, why would you not just run another insta res? <laughs> Pretty much, at that point, it's just like, why not play Mentos or Froppy at that point if you want to res me? I don't know. Like, as someone who's played a bit of Ibarra because of Team Green and everything, <laughs> uh, my, the, I feel like her kit as much as I love winning the matchup against Momo and Ida, <laughs> her kit doesn't provide anything other than like a res and a hard lockdown for one person. Yeah, but you know what it also does? Her down. It also it pisses me off because why does her alpha go through Dobby's fucking firewall? It's fire. She has plants. <laughs> that is ridiculous. The fact Honestly, that yeah. if if Ibarra ever shoots at Dobby's firewall, she should take dot damage. Yeah, just the fire spreads to her. <laughs> lights her on fire. She explodes. So it just a deterrent. <laughs> Dobby, biggest counter to Ibarra. Okay. That's now, what about Momo? <laughs> Momo, dude. Woo! Momo is a very big contender for A or B tier to me. I think Actually, I think like middle of A. Cannons are stupid. They yeah, die. I, like I, 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 like I her her I shield got nerfed to hell, but also her cannons got buffed to fucking hell as well. Honestly, the shield nerf just kind of exposed the really good Momo players because they just pretty much showed that you don't you didn't ever need a shield like that to win with her anyway. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never used it. And how much it was being abused before. Mm -hmm. Like, I've seen people who takes like, oh, you should nerf her cannons and bring out the shield and whatever. I was like, no. You know how fucking boring it is to just watch a Momo run around in circles for five minutes yeah. <laughs> and yeah, not do anything? Like, bro. You shoot her in the flesh and it does nothing because yeah. she has a shield in front of her. And I'm like, bro, if Dobby had that, bro, oh my god, what a king. Like, <laughs> Playing with a W man and seeing how he uses Momo, like the strategic way he uses Momo, it just opened my eyes to how crazy this character can be. Like how she can just chill and storm and just mess everybody up with cannon fire. And not everybody, not a lot of characters can come out and chase her for it because she has hella health to contend with. Yeah. And she can make supplies, which is fucking awesome. Yeah, that too. She can supply. <laughs> Bro, so that supply ability really sucks ass. Game. I never get TPO for no, so no, 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 no. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Momo's supplyability is the best special action in the game when you're playing Toga. 
<laughs> that is very true. <laughs> Although it's not, it's not as good as anymore because you can't spam that shit anymore. Oh, well, did they take that out? It's because they changed how Toga's uh, transformation works. I see. I see. Uh, you can still kind of do it. Yeah. It's just, you can. It's more expensive. Uh, yeah. You just have to transition from uh, stabbing them and then using your E on them to like not bleed them out as fast. Because if you just stab them, they'll die in three times. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I guess it depends on what you have as teammates. Because if you have like a lot of AK people on your team, you can actually do more, if I'm not mistaken. Unless they change them. Oh yes, okay. That is Momo, A tier, I agree. And everybody else agrees with this position? Yes. Yeah. Perfect position. <laughs> Alright. I just finish up classes, A's, and what have you. Uh, striker deck. I think it's a B tier character. <laughs> like, that, like Bro, Nicole B. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I would agree with that, but it's only because I haven't really seen a lot of, like, really good striker decks to really make a solid argument. Bro, I really think he's A, personally. I, I think he's A. I'd, I'd be okay putting him low A, but I get I, I just <laughs> never fucking see the man. Like. <laughs> And even when we're fighting him, like, like you I, think I, you I, think he had a low range with his alpha, but no, that thing has a lot of range. It, it hurts a lot if he hits all of them. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I was playing like twice, this, like yesterday, and I was running away from like a striker deck. Who my dude shot me like three times in his alpha and removed all my HP because he was aiming in and all the shots just went straight to me. <laughs> that being I said, know, I don't know. I was about to say, maybe it's because I'm like Boppy, I don't really have to interact with this character a lot as well. Whenever I see him and he's like trying to put pressure on me, I just get away and he can't really do anything about it. He does have true damage. Yeah, he has yeah. like a grab, like his his, his air stomp technically is a grab. Right, and he does go straight to your health, the shield. Well, the I think I, he's definitely better than Kirishima, 100%. Yeah. Is he better Not than either. Nintendo? No. I don't believe that. I think no, he's, not. that's a good position for him. I'll keep uh, it with yeah. tier now. Mm. Uh, from here, let's go teachers. Aizawa. Aizawa. S tier. Yeah. All day. Yeah. S tier. Absolutely S tier. All the movement. Big damage. Infinite movement. 10 million grapples. Yeah. Yeah. But, if, but hear me out, we're talking release size Zaba? <laughs> release size Zaba removal from the game. <laughs> 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 from the game. It's actually funny. He's not done. <laughs> He's not done yet. <laughs> Get him ready. It's funny just how much of a glow up Aizawa has had over the season. Oh, yeah. I, I actively was like, I don't want to play this game when I pulled him because I was so excited for Aizawa to be in the game. I got him and I was like, do I just suck at this game? Or like, is this the worst character I've ever fucking played? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that is so gas with a lot of good players into thinking they were shit when he first came out. He's like, no, he's just- Like he has player. infinite movement. He can basically infinitely use his special ability by just tapping it. Yeah. yeah. He's insane. I, I don't think he's better than Denki. He might be better than Denki, honestly. Does it, doesn't he also have like a zero to death too? Yeah. Uh, he does have a zero to death. It yeah. does? I didn't know that. Uh, I would say, yeah, I think he, he technically can better. combo with so many characters that they can just fucking destroy him. It's, it's crazy. He's especially good with on a beamer team where you can just lock people down and just let them pew yep. pew them to death, especially with this gamma too, locking people down that way as well. Yep. Yeah, if you, if you look at the top three in S tier, that's a team that should never lose. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely correct. <laughs> That's true. I've seen that exact team a hundred times by the same people. <laughs> Every time you see it running up on you, you shit breaks. <laughs> so I always kill one of them and then the other two kill me. Yeah, it's yeah. usually the Aizawa I kill and then the other two kill me for killing the Aizawa. Yeah, every, time, every time I see an Aizawa, I'm like, well, at least I can defend myself. And then he looks at me and I'm like, well, I canceled my Dobby Gamma. I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess, uh... Can't do anything. I remember... When Akka first got Aizawa, he's like, I can finally stop Bakugo. I watched him play Aizawa, and Bakugo just flies away from- What do you mean it doesn't stop the special action? <laughs> I was so sure. wanted. I just I wanted to fucking have Bakugo stay in my vicinity. <laughs> so dumb. Just All Might. All Might. All my, I think he's us. All my, I think he's us. You really think he's us? Think he's they us gave him the rico yeah, it's they gave him the ricochet on his freaking alphas. This man's S tier. He's got ricochet now. Yeah, it, it, if he shoots 
a wall or the ground, it will bounce. I can show you a clip. I have it. Oh, I've never seen really? it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Like, it's so dumb because I was fighting, I think it was Ki Keys? No, it was Kiyo. Yep. Thing. But uh, <clears throat> I was fighting Kyo and like some other people, and I see him jump up in the air, and I was like, okay, it's an all might. He could punch down a couple of times. No, I was so wrong. <laughs> Where am I getting shot from? Hello? He, I got obliterated. <laughs> like even Ricochet aside, I still agree that he is low S. Because he is all very my, low S. He, he can he also he has, has a lot of special, special actions. He has yeah, two all my other hands are really good players. Like crazy, yeah. especially when they know oh, how yeah. to time you know, like tornadoes and like, whatnot. Like me playing All Might, I suck with All Might. I'm watching JoJo. I play with JoJo. Like he has such insane pressure. Yeah, he does. Well, he can just show up. Like, he is here. Like, <laughs> he, you know, pretty much, yeah. You can't ignore his presence. <laughs> he is yeah. not no, He's not lying when he says, I am here. You have to pay attention to him. Yeah. Alright, next up. Endeavor. Endeavor, I think he's B tier. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think that's being generous. Really? You think he's right? I, I think, think he's, he's the best character right? in the game. I think he's C, personally. Endeavor? <laughs> he has the if, if, biggest kill me butt that exists if, in this game. If we're talking about, like, the peak of Endeavor, I think he's A tier. But if we're talking about the average Endeavor, I think he's C tier. Bro, I, I tried playing point Endeavor. Out, it's so hard. <laughs> th there's a lot. There's, like, yeah. three Endeavors that if I see them, I need to kill them before they get level 9 alpha. Pretty much. Because... If he has, if it's a good endeavor and they have level nine alpha, you you're you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> you're, good, you're not good, running from it. Yeah, good good endeavor player with max level alpha is like the strongest DPS in the game. But <laughs> but he has to. That's the thing though. He has to get there. First. He has to get there. He has to be able to track you. Yeah. He has to not be <laughs> shot down on his big body. I'd still put him in B tier, honestly. Yeah, I I, I, I think C tier is a little too. Oh, yeah, little, 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 little B, I would say that. I, I just, I just think he's got potential that too many people do not capitalize yeah, like, on. Nope. I, even I, I try. I'm bad. At it. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. trying. Okay. He's, he very much rewards. Can you aim accurately for a long time <laughs> in a game where half the roster says, try? "What if I flew away in a moment?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mount Lady. I think she is also S tier. Person. I agree. I don't know about I, you guys. Yeah. I actually, I think I put her above all my. Yeah. I was thinking that too, but I'm not certain. I, I think she's got I'm the biased, same on lockdown <laughs> pressure of the fucking Denki. So she's got the lockdown pressure of Denki, but she can take a lot more too. Yeah, she has yeah. armor moves to just stop being for stop being stunned as well. And, and that's combos. And then she has a straight up hail mary of going big in this. Fucking shit up with a good team. Yep. Man. Plus ultra big, giant yeah. stomps. Yeah. Her alphas are not as long as all mics, but it's still like a good pressure. It's it's faster. She shoots yeah. she shoots her her alphas faster than all mics does, but still. Less damage doesn't have splash damage. So and honestly, out of all the assault characters, I could be wrong, but I feel like out of all the assault characters, she has like. The best time, the easiest time keeping up with Rapids, from what I can. Yeah, her yeah, kicks she has good can chase. chase people down. She has good chase. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, I'm starting to convince myself to put her over Dinky. I'm thinking about it. Honestly, oh, I, yeah. I struggle against her far more than Dinky. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I think she goes over right. Dinky. Right. I believe. Now, I don't think I have to. Uh, Explain myself. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, listen. I agree, but we should talk about where we he's should talk he about it. And I, I, think, I, think, is S -tier I do right think now. he's S tier. I think yeah. I think he's absolutely S tier. I, I, honestly, I'd put him even above Mount Lady, personally. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I refuse. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact 
that Lucian and Squee exist, I would have easily put him like A tier or something. Yeah. But seeing what this man can do when he's they buffed him this season, they gave him fifty more HP. They him? gave yeah. him more alphas. Why? Yeah, I was like, I was like, this is a top five crazy. character. Then they buffed yeah. him, and I was like, all right, well, Dobby gets nothing. In fact, they took fifty HP from Dobby when that happened. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They were like, let's give fifty HP to spend us and take the for Dobby. <laughs> It's, uh, it's so funny because like I see a lot of people struggle with Cementos, but it's like my favorite thing. Like I have a another clip on like my my eh, my Twitch just called <laughs> the the shock chamber <laughs> where a Cementos locks himself in like the building <laughs> and I'm just denky betaing all of them through the wall. <laughs> I downed like eight people <laughs> and killed them all. Damn, he saw me! I'm dead. All might up here with me. I'm dead. <clears throat> All might is alive still up there. He's gonna come for you. In. Oh my gosh. I said let me in! How is Cemento still up? Just keep doing it. Just keep doing beta. Go kill the cement house on the other side. For the love of fuck. It's so funny. Oh. It's crazy. So Mintoff might be the only character in the game that feels like when you hit one, it's like triggering a Dark Souls boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like shit hits the fan very quickly when you alert a Cementos. Yeah, you you, yeah. you hear you hear the Dark Souls music and then you wonder why you're playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this character. Yeah, Fuck yeah, so the game. I also want to point out that like another thing with Cementos is the Cementos players. It, it, I do agree with you guys. The second you attack them, they're on you. But they do not stop. No, they, no, they, 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 will, they will. They will either go go away to heal on their tower, and then after that, just keep shooting shit at you because they can yep. see you anyway. <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter what your class is or how far you can get away from them. They will chase you to the ends of the they earth. They have it's such a long right. alpha. They can hey, throw God, the God forbid so you find them in the fucking last circle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this no, gamma no. actually goes full screen. Oh my God, dude. Last circle. I've lost to Lucian. Like, this is back when I was only playing Momo. I lost to him four times just because he died seconds before me in the store. <laughs> Yeah, listen, listen, I, I, as, as a Dobby main, I just I just want you all to like rack your brains when you're playing Dobby and your last circle against Cementos. What do you do? What does your kid have? Uh, right. you, 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 you plus you ultra pray. and you look at him. <laughs> maybe you set a mine and maybe he'll walk into it. I, I, I just want to know why Cementos' cement gets rid of the Dobby's flame wall. I, I just want to know no. who decided that. It extinguishes it. <laughs> A block when it says no, but yeah, even his like gamma into alpha combo does like yeah, like why? shield and like half health. Yeah, I don't I hate that at combo. So I much. call that shit the tombstone because it looks like he's like <laughs> put a tombstone over your head. So <laughs> really correct. Shigaraki, Shigaraki, I think uh, he is definitely he might be the first tier. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it's, 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 I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, 90% of games he's D tier, but if you're lucky and the lobby is sleeping on their controller and their keyboard, like he's an easy <laughs> king of C. <laughs> I do think he's C tier for a couple of reasons. One, he is definitely the if you're sleeping, you die character. For certain. Yeah. For, sure, for, sure. for certain, for certain, if you're sleeping, you die. He can make the floor, the floor is lava with him. Yeah, yeah. When, when his conditions are met, he's he's a menace. But half the roster is like, what if you can never meet your conditions? Yeah, Froppy Aizawa can literally just never take damage with him. All Might yeah, can Bob. just fly around as well. Like Agumo flies around, like, Deku whips around. You can literally just jump his fucking beta and yeah. like take minimal damage. Like if he puts a beta on the floor, all you have to do is just hop around and he will take very little damage. 
Like he's the king of third partying, but oh, when yeah. he has to fight honestly, oh, that's when he suffers. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll keep him yeah, at sea. But last last circle though. Last circle. Last, last circle. <laughs> kind of yeah, goes he's, good. He's a mess. Last circle. He kind of goes good. Yep, but then he's depending, the unless it's all the city, <laughs> then you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, and then it's like fire don't work. <laughs> Pitting the best Shiggy against any of the top characters at their very best, they're gonna know how to dance around his shit and get to him regardless. Yep. Yeah. Thankfully, Even my boy I'm is getting a new quirk skill set where he actually has range of attacks. Wow. Right? Yeah, this is playable. Really interesting. Playable it's Shigaraki. Just Echo Light. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Toga. Toga, I think. She is I think she's better. I, th than I think this is the best character in the game. I, I do agree. <laughs> Honestly, I do agree. No, I agree. She's I literally agree. all of them and more. So, <laughs> like, she reset cooldowns. Like she can reset cooldowns. She can transform into anybody as long as you know how to play the game. You can play any character. Yeah, you know you who to not transform. Every character and you know she has infinite Pokemon, betas. You are just better than everyone. Like <laughs> she can beta for five years. It does a fuck ton of damage for some reason. Yeah. She's legit the only character in the game that can play the game just fine without using her gimmick. Not to mention. So when she is using her gimmick and is behind and has somebody steering her who is a master of her gimmick, which is transforming, she becomes even better. Yes. Oh, yeah. She is Let insane. me ask you all this question. How many times have y'all lost at Toga? <laughs> many. I lose Toga all the time. She just no, no, disappears. No, no, my, my, yeah. Listen, my alpha has GPS, so like that's a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. You're right. Dobby, Dobby's just built different. That's why he's the pair. But Very there's true. been many times where I've chased down Togas as a froppy and she still manages to get away from me. It's honestly the main reason why we, whenever I come across a Toga, I stay away from her first because I don't want her to get my blood. Yeah, what, what sucks is when you feel like you're on that Toga and she's like zooming away, but you're like, haha, I got your ass. Then she transforms into like Bakugo or some shit and you're like, okay, yeah. never mind, it's over. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're just flying away even further and then you have no cooldowns on your back. So like... <laughs> Yeah, no, Toga oh. is insane. Let's not talk about Brock's Toga, actually a menace. Uh, Brock, Brock is the best player in the game. Uh, <laughs> very true. Top, top one Toga gamer. Toga insane to look at. <laughs> Brock's uh, Toga, Kyrie's Toga, it's always a pain in the butt to deal with them. Mr. Compress. I think he's also C tier. Maybe better than Shigaraki. No, that's I just better than Shigaraki for sure. I think I, honestly, yeah, I was about to say, I think he's B tier as well. I'd actually put him above Endeavor, Endeavor. like between <laughs> Hiroshima and Endeavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the way I rate these characters is if they can deal with Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> but he can throw trucks over your wall. Exactly. And like, so, you know. I think, I'm not sure which one has the biggest DPS capacity. I don't know if Endeavor or Compress has the highest DPS check just by raw damage. But a, a Compress was the one before it ever. I'm not sure which one wins now. Uh, this. so overall DPS, Endeavor, but Compress has more utility than Endeavor, yeah. and is less Way likely more. to die. <laughs> yeah. No. C Compress literally has an eject button. The and only problem Compress has is that he doesn't have invincibility on his eject button, which he should. He should have armor on it. Absolutely. Yeah. I disagree. <laughs> no, I don't think he needs a visibility on this eject. They already made it faster, which was yeah. good enough in my opinion. If it was slower, he should have armor. Listen, yeah, listen, yeah, it's yeah, because listen. it's not, it's fine. We, we, we can talk about buffing Compress when we give Dobby an active ability he can use on his special <laughs> action, okay? Like... <laughs> now, also, that's another thing. If they ever make it so Compress can pocket down characters... Oh, that would be so great. He would yeah, be a tier. Really amazing. Amazing. He, if he had that, he would be a tier. Absolutely. For sure, for sure. Like, even if it didn't even revive them, just moving the player is so huge. Absolutely correct. So. He's like putting them somewhere else so he can revive them like safely. Yeah. Absolutely. Twice. I think oh, me. He's, he's, like, he's like A tier now for sure. I think uh, me personally, I think he is S tier. With how much I've been playing him, with how much I've learned him. But your average twice, I think he's A for sure. Well, actually, I'd agree. With how much I've played with him as well, I'd also say he's low S. Yeah, low S. Because here's the thing, if, if Froppy is the barrier for A to S tier, 
twice shits on Floppy. Yes. <laughs> and absolutely. I'm talking about clone alone. Like, yeah. not even twice in trouble. <laughs> His clone shits on Floppy. Yeah. So, it, twice is innately a good character because you don't even need to play and do well. No, <laughs> you really don't. You need a good team. You need to use his beta in a proper way, of course. His game yeah. success. It's just mobility for you to go up and down. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the best ability in the game. You keep saying that, and I'm not believing. <laughs> you control the skies. If you're good at clone management and put, uh, putting like, down proper beta clones and whatnot, yeah. setting up beta clone properly, twice is a minute. Yep. That's why I like I don't I, like I don't even level up my alpha until my beta is level nine <laughs> because yeah, I know sorry, that's yeah, gonna do more damage than me because aiming yeah. his shit is difficult. It's easy to hit yeah. a, a secondary target when you're hitting somebody. You have to like track your shots, put them in front of them, and hope they keep going that way. It's, yeah, and it's not even about like having good or bad aim. It's just like they have auto aim, so they just can't miss. <laughs> they yep. literally cannot miss. But the way I play twice, I, I if I have clones, I always keep the like, green cards to keep them full HP after after a fight, as long as they don't die. It yep. just keeps them in. You you have to go for the right people to clone, of course. But some games there's just no clone games. There's some games you just have like an entire army, and you have to adapt to with what you level up and what you how you play, depending on. And he's the only character that can send in a version of himself to go like support the team while he like stays in the back and heals him up and whatnot. Or does something else. Yeah. Out for a good while. He can he can do damage while opening boxes. He can do damage while while just Honestly, doing other things. Yeah, I might put him above All Might because I think the twice All Might matchup is in his favor. Funnily enough. Yeah, but we're not. This isn't like. A, well, I know. I know. It's not that type of thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, I, I think he's the worst. I don't think he does more damage than nobody. I don't think he has as much pressure as nobody. In the right scenarios, of course, he would. But we're talking about, we're generalizing. If, if a twice is like getting clones off of like a bunch of downs over and over, then I think he has the potential to absolutely like be the best character. But yeah, that's not gonna like, happen. But most of the time, you're not getting the fucking clones every encounter you get into. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially for playing with randos who don't respect you, getting clones, <laughs> which happens so me much. Off so much. <laughs> uh, I know Dobby's the mayor and all that, but we gotta put him somewhere. <laughs> Before he goes back to his position as a mayor. Uh, is a C. Dobby's like C. He's like the gatekeeper of C tier. Pretty much, I put him above Shiggy. Yeah, I think he's C's strongest soldier. He can actually attack people who aren't grabbed onto a wall. So like, he's got that. Yeah, he's the gatekeeper of the the low tiers. But he has no mobility. Like, his fucking defensive tool kind of sucks. Like. But they need to put more priority on the trap, honestly. They need to make it so if you get hit by a trap, you have to eat the full hit. Yeah, you know what the op when they hit the trap, then they like, fucking get knocked down midway through and take reduced damage. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that's not on me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They should be able to take the full blood of the trap they hit fully. They shouldn't get iframes out of just, it for free. Just, just make the trap one big fucking hit. <laughs> like, fuck it, like, have it linger still, but like, just do one hit every time it hits someone. It's like yeah, one yeah. big fuck you. Just fuck it, just have them set them on fire and they just have to take residual damage over time. It was like, I used to play Davi a lot when I first started because right. he was the only answer to Ida. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now he doesn't even do that. <laughs> Very unfortunate. When I first started playing this game, I wanted to be a Davi main. But then the struggle hit and I was just like, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I, ne I never wanted to be a Dobby main, then I just played him once and I was like, shit, I'm the best Dobby player I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best Dobby. He's the best Dobby, though. He's the best Dobby, though. I was like, actually get kills <laughs> and stay alive? What? This is, this is what the tier was for. I had fun with Dobby back when people didn't really fully really understand how to fight him and would like fall for his kiting strats. But now that people know about that shit, all of a sudden he just plummeted. It's so hard to get people to fall for that shit now. They just shoot wherever he's going and then they Pretty much. Traps. Yeah. No, he's rough. He's really rough. And, and the worst is... part about him is like they can give him a new quirk moveset, but because his special action is never gonna be used in any competent player game, like he's he's still screwed. <laughs> like <laughs> Yo, honestly, you know what would make Davi sick? And I think this is kind of fair. They should make his special action a quick revive for himself. 
that would make more sense if he just like sets the ground and blaze and then gets up. See, honestly, I, I agree it would make him better, but I think it's really funny when you do get his special action off. I just wish you could do something when you're alive, so that if you're playing well, it's like, oh yes, the button that everyone else has access to, I can use it. Yeah, but like, <laughs> imagine someone's about to execute you, you pop it, you get up, and you kill them. <laughs> okay, but like, hear me, but like, hear me out. I, I get killed, I'm on a building, people are fighting below me, I crawl down, I land, explode, and get the W. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> Which yeah, is crazy because you know you, got the <laughs> you know they already thought about special actions having two different interactions with like the down state and the like regular state. Because look at All Might, he has his special action changes depending on next to a down player or not. Same thing with yeah. Ogre, your special action used to change. So it's like, why didn't they think about that when it came to Dobby? They just hate like Dobby. They just hate Dobby. They, they don't like Dobby. <laughs> The, the, the dev is actually Endeavor, they're like, this is my least favorite shot. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Fuck my child. I, found, I also found the, the clip. It was against Tofusaur's team, and Kyo was playing All Might. Dude, tell me this is fair. Th this is not okay. I honestly thought, like, he was cheating, but it's just all the ricochets hitting me at once. That's mental. This is what the tier list would look like uh, regularly, but we all agreed upon all these characters. Let's be uh, where they belong. Listen, respectfully, I would also uh, remove Bakugo from the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's the meta character tier list. There places. Oh, what is this? A subscribe button. Oh my god, Yo, that's subscribe the to the mayor of Dobby City? Did you know a million percent of you are subscribed? You can barely see that <laughs> image, but I'm gonna zoom it in on the video. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that one million percent of you are not subscribed to luck underscore yes? You oh do it now. God. Right now. Right. Anyway, you do, do it right now do. or the mayor of You get out of room from the game suit. I might. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a tier list on what characters do you have or what characters do you like versing the most? Which characters do you feel like, oh, I'm fighting against this character? I am enjoying myself fighting against this character. I love fighting against Shigaraki. I won't lie. I love that he can't do anything. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shigaraki. Hold on, let, let, let's oh, change this. This is going to be very subjective. Easiest to fight. <laughs> 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 So I, mean, I climbed a wall tier list, like... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Shigaraki, as you said, probably the easiest character to fight in the game. Yeah. If you're not mistaken there. My dude yeah. has so little he can do in so many situations. He can climb a wall. It's very unfortunate. If I see a Shigaraki, no matter what level, I'm just like, oh, this is going to be a fun time. As long as he doesn't third party me. As long as he's not sitting behind a wall and <laughs> just ready in it. Bless you. Yeah, so. Bless you. Thank you. Everyone say bless you I, in the comments. Thank you. I like fighting Ibarra and Ochaka. <laughs> but that's because I play Denki. <laughs> Denki can just shoot Ibarra and Ochako. You can. <laughs> it's so messed up that you can dash through her car. <laughs> You can do what? Feel... Yeah, so, <laughs> so if she's no. hitting you with her car, you can just... It's a free stun. She can't do anything about it. Uh, yeah, because of that nerf. The hit the stun is, like, late in red screen. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'd also put a borrow in, like, easiest to fight. Like, if yeah, I see an R running up on me, I'm just like, oh, free me. <laughs> it's very, uh, like, I agree. I think she would... For me, I think she would be in a good fight because she can counter a lot of characters. Is she when she dogs on, for example? Oh yeah, no, like even a good Abaro is like scary to run up on, even as Froppy. But even like I faced good Abaros, and even as Froppy, I'm just man, it's not it's not that <laughs> tough. <laughs> as someone who runs into Psycho all the time, I I always kill. It is Ibarra. I, I I always feel bad about it because like I'm usually playing a character that she can't do anything against. Like Denki, sometimes I have trouble. But if I'm playing Deku, Bakugo, or like almost half the cast, 
she doesn't do anything to stop you from killing her. Oh, and if she tries to grab not. someone else, she's just like, well... <laughs> I'm also grabbed, I'm but I'm not taking yeah. damage yet. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, bar grab should not keep her in place. It should just... You should be able to move around. around. <laughs> <laughs> you should just be able to move around while the hair is doing its thing. <laughs> no. And then Ochako right now isn't really I'm fighting her. It's more like can I catch her after I beat her up? Very true. For me, Ochako could go either way because of the character. Yeah, I agree. Ochako, like, of course she's made of paper. But it could go either way. She could beat your ass. You yeah. could beat her ass, depending on how much she plays. Pretty much. Any, 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 anything on that, Aka? Oh, you're streaming policy again. Oh. Um, there you go. I mean, honestly, my, my opinion on fighting Ochako is like, is she far from me? Cool. She, she gets auto-tracked. Is she on me? Uh, she, she beats my ass. <laughs> <laughs> could go either way, yeah. He's the definition of could go either way, honestly. Yeah. He's very good. Either... I think we already all know the answer. Um, yeah, well, it's very I, annoying to fight. I, I used to love fighting him until he got his armor. Honestly, uh, honestly, for me, I, I, it's a it's a good fight for me. Only because I guess out of all the years of playing him, I I'm really good at dealing with him. So a lot of you have to be a really good eater to catch me off guard fighting him. Gotcha, gotcha. What you feel, Skashi? For me, uh, Ida is like this. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't have a problem fighting Ida. I just have a problem with Ida players running away <laughs> after <laughs> they start a fight. Realistically, if the Ida is fighting me, very rarely do I have an issue with like that. Because I could either A, just shoot them while they're doing nonsense, or B, wait for them to do a combo and then like see what they're gonna do and punish them accordingly. But right. if the Ida is just running up on you, it's the most cringe character to deal with. <laughs> if you're healing, like I, I'm telling you guys, Ida players, they have like a sensor. This guy's healing in a bush somewhere. I'm just gonna randomly kick in all the bushes. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> So, so what you're saying is you like fighting Ida, you don't like disengaging Ida, or like fucking uh, him just pulling up randomly. I don't like dealing with Ida, but if I have to fight him, it's not hard until he starts running away. Yeah, once the fight's Which is, over. <laughs> Which is funny, because in like season one or two, that's like the main thing I wanted uh, Ida, Ida players to do, and I didn't understand they why they wouldn't. Season one and two Ida's used to be bloodthirsty as hell. They would just, once they were engaged, they would not they disengage would not just for the Even when they were low as hell, that I never understood it. It was like, dude, you have legs. Run. <laughs> what are you doing? I want blood. Pretty much, they were just flipping dip all over the place. Like, even in the one of the most recent videos that Luck put out, and Ida downed me, had like 10 HP, saw Luck come to res me, and instead of healing himself, he just ran over and died. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that shit. That's that bloodthirsty shit. Yep, it definitely did happen. He was like, I'm gonna stop with my lady, and then I stunned him and killed him. <laughs> he had no HP. <laughs> It's just it just varies for players. Yeah, I think he's a good fight overall, though. I do. I, I think I can agree with EA here. Yeah, no, I feel that. Right. Let's go with this guy, Toga. Toga. Ooh, the tough one. Either it's cringe or why even bother? <laughs> uh, honestly, like even though I agree that they're the best character in the game, like. I'd still just put them in good fight, honestly, because mo really? like most Togas just fucking press beta, and I'm like, well, <laughs> I would say go out could go either way, because yeah, although m most Togas that don't really know much can just press would just press beta all day, and that's easy to deal with. The Togas that do know what they're doing, oh yeah, yikes, bro, I even bother, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes, yeah. Bro. <laughs> Togas who know what they're doing menaces. Honestly. But like when I'm playing like Ultra Rumble, I'm not like. Oh yes, a toga. They're exquisite at the game. I go, okay, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna push one button or, or are you gonna be doing some crazy shit? <laughs> right. And okay. then even then, even with the togas that do know what they're doing, it depends on who they have in their pocket to transform. Yep. 
Yeah, I'll put it on, on cringe tier just because of how difficult it is overall. The beta spam is so very annoying to me personally. <laughs> and All I'm gonna say the transformations. is after playing Toga a bit, my last stream and a couple games earlier today, my hands hurt after I played Toga. <laughs> You have to you do so much. All your buttons, you have dude. to do you so much. All of that. <laughs> it is a workout. All right. Respect to the Toga players yeah, that don't, don't just spam it. Like it's cringe on how hard it is to fight out because Toga's cringe. Let's, let's yeah. keep that in mind. Next up, it's All Might. All Might is, I think, I'll put it in my good fight personally. I yeah, I honestly if I'm fighting all my straight up like and I haven't been like hurt yet or anything, it's a good fight. It's only when they catch me off guard that it's like, ah, I don't want you to be here. <laughs> when he just just jump you and then take off half your EP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like when I'm like low health and all my shows up out of nowhere and starts firing shots, it's like ah all my dude, my dude can't be work. sneaky, dude. <laughs> he can't be sneaky. He's big, but he can just, uh, yeah. just drop from the sky and fucking ruin yeah, your day. And just fuck your <laughs> shit up. But yeah, no, all my fighting all my straight up is a good fight. Alright, no, I agree. Yeah. Alright. We all have a, a good consensus here. Alright, next up yep. is Endo. Why even bother, bro? Why even bother? Like, <laughs> yeah. just, like, there's no there's no abilities that will fucking hurt her unless she walks into my fucking circle. Uh, she could just walk at me with her shield. I don't have enough fucking shots to break it. Fuck it. I can't do shit about it. It's awful. Bad game design. Take her from the game. I hate it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I will say this right now. Kindle is one of those characters. If I, well, specifically if I know you're a good one, if I know you're a good Kindle, I'm not fighting you unless another person's there. If I don't have anybody else with me to, stick, to fight you, I'm not fighting you alone. Because Kindles live for yeah. the 1v1. Unless I'm playing a character that can 100% counter Kendo, fighting her yes. is hard. She is fucking. Yes. She, if she, like, cycles her shield into her clap properly and, like, they bait you into attacking her and fucking. Oh, and she's so goddamn strong. <laughs> she's yeah, she so like, she's oh, like, she... like if you're a regular Joe and you run into a master martial artist and you don't have a black belt. You're not fighting that guy straight up. You're throwing dirt in his eye. Fuck that shit. <laughs> 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 Any thoughts on this question? Okay, I'm back. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So your word on Kendo? What I, what I was going to say was, I only ever fight good Kendo. <laughs> Same. And I'm a budget dry buddy. The thing <laughs> is, like, Kendo is like, it really depends on where you are. If it's a good Kendo, they're gonna run you down. I run everyone I want to kill down. <laughs> yep. And like. The matchup really depends on like what does your character do to Kendo. Like if you're Davi, you're not doing anything, Kendo. Kendo I know, just I know. Lathers. She she picks you up like a bar of soap and lathers you around. <laughs> yeah, she presses one button, walks at you, and you're like, my kid is useless. <laughs> but like, for example, if I'm playing like Denki or Deku, Deku can just blast her through her shield, and she has to chase him. Denki, on the other hand. I play mind games with Kendo, and that's why I have like such a weird like give and take when I play against like Dry Buddy. Um, what I do is I kind of bait them into thinking I'm going to dash at them, and then I dash above their shield and beta, and they they either eat a lot of beta damage and try to clap me, or they just take a lot of beta damage anyways. <laughs> it's very weird. It's like a give and take, but I think fighting Kendo is always like. They could go either way. They either really yeah. good or they they kind of just let you kill them. Yeah, that's very fair. She's she's the master of what he wants, but only she should go versus characters that can can yeah. can't run her down or she can't run down. Yeah. All right. Next up is Momo. How are we feeling about no, Momo? Fight. <laughs> Fighting Momo she... is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> she could be it's a little moment, but I think for the most part, I could go either way with her. Like, like you can go either way, but like, 
she's so annoying. She's like her alpha just stagger you for, like for five years. Yeah. You put cannons yeah. down to just delete half your HP. The alpha just... stagger can be a bit much when, when you're fighting it's a really so, good one. It's so annoying. The shield is fine now, it's not that big of a deal anymore, but like, holy shit. It's actually funny, because the shield went from being the most annoying move to see her throw out to being like, as soon as I see a moment with shield, I'm like, yes, I get to breathe. <laughs> I get to yes. breathe, I can roll through it and shoot her in the back. I can roll through it. <laughs> like, when I, mean, I play mobile, I literally just bait the shield and just not even yeah. run with it, like, half the time. <laughs> you just put it down. <laughs> yep, I put it down and heal behind it. It works surprisingly well. It does, it does. My only thing with Momo that's like super annoying, like if you're fighting the Momo, obviously, is the Alpha. But Momo in general, oh my lord, dude. I can't tell you how angry I get when I just hit by a random cannon. I'm like, where is she? Where, where, where is she? <laughs> where hiding? is she? You see her on the top of UA building. You. Yeah, I'm gonna hey, get you. <laughs> It's funny because I've seen so many Momo say, try to convince me that uh, Froppy's a bad matchup for her, but I'm like, you guys literally have fly swatters, like hella fly swatters. You, can literally just, <laughs> you hit her like a couple of times yeah, and you have your team ready, like it's over exactly. for the Froppy. I've even, I've even done it to a Froppy and I don't play Momo, but I did, I, I've been in Lux's video, I just swatted that Froppy right out of the sky. <laughs> You're over the cannon. It's like, ah. She is a nightmare matchup for Froppy when up close. I really think she's encouraged here how difficult she is. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Oh, no, yeah, she's like, I don't even want to fight her as Deki. Like, 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 is is like, it easy to kill her? More or less, depending. But like, is it annoying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it can be an easy job, but it's a job that upsets me. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you do up? if they have a back shield, Akko? <laughs> they just put a shield down and start hitting that in front of you. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the one, the one goat of Dobby is uh, that that gamma will uh, AOE onto where they are, and so you're like, ha ha. <laughs> and then they have to move. <laughs> How I feel about Kirishima? Because for me, Kirishima. Don't even ask me about fighting this guy. <laughs> If if I was still a Denki main, why even bother? <laughs> as, as as a as a as a reformed Dobby player, uh, it can go either way. <laughs> I would say it's um, it's a good fight if he doesn't have level nine everything. If he does, it goes to could go either way because he becomes a monster. <laughs> He's yeah. insane. I, I, I don't even bother fighting this character. Half the time, yeah. if I have to fight him, I'll sit there and like shoot him and leave. But I, I don't even bother fighting this character. <laughs> he just punches me. Kirby knows it. He If he's playing Kirishima and he sees me, I'll just leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, if we're talking about for most of the roster, I think it could go either way. Yeah. It really depends I was going to put a good fight, but the way Kirishima's can be so impressive. He could go either way. He, he has so much pressure. He's crazy. Right. And also he has like a passive where if you're playing as Denki, everyone in the lobby who's Hiroshima knows where you are at all yeah. times. <laughs> and they're, they're it's a come. mutual trust and truce, bro. Yeah, they like, the amount of times. Yeah, there's like three Hiroshimas running at you and you're like, but what about you guys? And they're like, nah. <laughs> all right. Dude, I have so many clips of that happening. <laughs> Well, let's go to Froppy. Froppy, I think, is... Why? Cringe. It's cringe. Absolutely. What you, no, 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 no. As a Dobby player, easiest to fight. Easy to fight. Uh, <laughs> if I get my shots track, like, I will find her. <laughs> as, even as a Froppy player, having to fight another Froppy is the a most annoying thing. <laughs> We're literally, we spend half the time just, like, tonguing the ground, like, rotating around each other, trying to hit each other. It's the most annoying thing. God. I have good aim and I hate fighting this character. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my skill does it for me, so like this is definitely a good fight at, at most for me. Like <laughs> I think it's I think it's cringe for me personally. I mean when I play my lady or not or twice is very very much could go either way. Mm -hmm. But I feel like overall she's definitely like the most one of the most annoying characters to fight against. She's not hard to fight against. But she's annoying. Like she's not mobile tier for me. 
just irritating. <laughs> yeah, she's not. She's the king, the queen of pestering people. Yes. Yeah, she's, she's the queen of disengaging and coming back after healing for the fifth time. Uh, Pretty much. <laughs> Don't even bother trying to run away. Oh my god. Like yeah. fighting her isn't the problem. It's catching her. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you think Ida will be here with with her? But <laughs> very different. Very different ways things can go. All right, next up, let's go say Mount Lady. And Mount Lady, honestly, why even bother? I hate fighting this character. Oh, yeah, she runs away. Honestly, it's very just, true. Um, it's so like she. Honestly, if it's a normal, average Mount Lady player, I don't really care. I'll kill her. Yeah, no, it's easy. But stuff. if we're talking about like good Mount Lady players, which is like all I run into, like conquest, luck. Why even bother fighting this character? They're gonna stomp you, shoot you twice, stomp you, shoot you twice, and then you die. I shit you not, if I see a Mount Lady running around, unless I know you are low on health, I am looking the other direction. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Bro, I'm not. she can chase you down, she can stun you for five years, it's, it's not okay. Especially the ones I know know that stupid stun lock combo, absolutely not. I want it's, no part of that. Yeah. It's rough. All right. Next up, let's say, you know what, Dobby. Dobby, I think, <laughs> is a good fight. <laughs> listen, as, as the best Dobby, in time, okay, listen, we're talking 1v1, Dobby v Dobby, easiest to fight. I've never lost a single Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about that one Dobby that beat you? <laughs> that was like a 3v1, okay? Uh, that Wait, was what, but what about when I beat you as Dobby? Okay, but I, I was already at like negative five HP. Like, fighting like three people, like it doesn't count. <laughs> I would also say uh, Dobby is easiest to fight for me as well. I just put him at the highest of easiest to fight above Shigaraki and Kafara. Uh, yeah, I don't really struggle against this character. Whenever I see him, it's kind of like um, even the good ones kind of a little bit freed if you're playing correctly. Yeah, I haven't been playing for a while. I'll have to like reshape the meta, you know. <laughs> We need the best Dobby back. Yeah. Dobby. What, let me think about this. Because, like, when I fight a Dobby, if, like, I'm initiating the fight, I usually win. But nine times out of ten, it is just, like, an angry Dobby player chasing me for no reason. And then I'm like, well, I have to deal with you now. Because <laughs> I don't know what it is with the Dobbies lately. They think they can chase the world. Oh, I can. <laughs> 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 this guy's like, the best I'll, Dobby. Be, I'll be chilling or something i'll like heal and then this is one dobby he's just <laughs> running at me like throwing his freaking alpha i'm like bro what is your problem <laughs> he's got an initial <laughs> <deep> blasted <laughs> in the background <laughs> but like fighting the dobby it's it's usually just easy to fight yeah it's just a matter of like what your health is before you start fighting them. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Um, Unless they max you, in which case they just win. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, Endeavor. Endeavor. Honestly, for me, easiest to fight. <laughs> I would agree with he's that a, as well. He, he's okay, such I, a cringe. He's cringe. <laughs> really? Okay, but like, let's consider that. <laughs> really? Listen, let's consider that your Dobby and all of his attacks go over your defensive tools and beat all of your defensive options and your offensive options and like all you can do is shoot alphas at him and then he's flying fast as fuck and you're like, Dad, come back, please, I love you. And he goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole uh, mod in your mother. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that hit deep. If we're if we're talking like the average Endeavor player that just presses the die button and explodes... That's all I see, honestly. <laughs> yeah. But there, there's a few Endeavor players I know now that like, if you run into them, they're just holding Alpha at you the whole time. You can't dodge it. You, you just die. <laughs> like, it, it's it a really DPS check. You have to, I'll be pissed. Yeah, you need to... It, it depends when you run into the, the Endeavor. <laughs> Because, like, we could say early game, yeah, he's free. Oh, yeah. He's super free to kill. Early? I would if say... we say... Mm. If we say late say... game... Yeah. Oh, um, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 I wasn't trying to cut you off. I was just saying, I would say early and mid game, he's still kind of free. No, no end agree. game... Unless you're jumping the Endeavor, end game, he is not free. He just beams... Dude, that is, like, 70 damage a second. Yeah. 
if you roll it, that's like you you miss like two ticks. I for you, EA, I understand it's a little bit weirder because you play prop, you move around a lot. But for the most of the cast, like Danky, even like Deku and Bakugo, if they're not leaving immediately, they're getting lasered. No, I definitely can see that. But yeah, for the average endeavor that like plays the game, is is pretty. I think it's a definitely could go either way character, but if we're talking about early game and or like the average endeavor player, it's fun. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I agree with you. Late game, he is a menace, but also I think about it like even with the good good endeavors, you know, play. How often do you see them make it to the circle? Not often. Not very often. Like I'll yeah, he's, a, he's a menace when he gets the final circle, but that's the thing though. He has a hard time <laughs> actually getting there. Yeah, it, Basically like Shiggy, but a better Shiggy. Yeah, the he's reverse like, Shiggy. He's Shiggy yeah. from the skies. <laughs> <laughs> the the aerial Shiggy. Yeah. Especially with how volatile all our lobbies usually end up being. Right. Like most of these characters will die early on. Very true. Next up, Compress. I think Compress. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I, I think compress is cringe. Hear me out. Okay. When do you ever like run into a compress intentionally and it's not them just throwing trucks at you randomly? Honestly? Not super often. Usually they get the first attack on you. Or yeah, they exactly. or they're just trucks happening in a fight. Exactly. So like if you're running up on the compress, sure, it is free. But if it's the average thing, which is compressed falling from the sky, dropping trucks <laughs> on you. It is Com cringe. <laughs> compressed players have mastered the art of fighting like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they want no part of a straight up fight. So you yeah. very rarely are going to just run up on one like, oh, hey, compressed, let's have this 1v1. It's like, nah, I'm gonna dump a truck on you from the sky and that's how you know I'm there. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, they have to play like that because they have no tools to help them oh, for in sure. close range. They have to get away and like shoot at you from a range. What yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Off of them. Yeah, like I, 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 in the Dobby perspective, as as I have to give on all these characters, uh, fucking like when I see Compress, I'm like I'm a melee character now. I don't have Elphus, so. <laughs> <laughs> Like, awesome. even the few times that I run into Akka when I'm playing Compress, it's usually him running away, or he has his barrier up and he's throwing alphas, and then trucks just rain down and he's like, Yeah. Where is this coming from? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, 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 unless I close that gap, like, Dobby ain't doing shit to Compress, but like... <laughs> <laughs> and then even when you do close the gap, he has an eject button. Yeah, but yeah, but then we, then we track him and then we're like, okay, GPS, where he's at? <laughs> <laughs> just run him down. <laughs> Next up, Aizawa. Yeah, and Aizawa is in the Why Even Bother. I yep. I hate Why Even Bother. I mug this character on site, bro. I, I want no. I don't even want them in my game. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking walks you down. He stops you from doing, from playing the game. Fuck, it, it, it's so annoying. Uh, it's even so that right there. That what you just said right there. It, even if it was like a shit character or whatnot. The fact that he just stops you from playing the game is like, you're not allowed to play anymore. Only I can play. <laughs> Only that can alone play. is like, I don't, I, that's not fun. I don't want to fight against that ever. <laughs> it's my turn that, to play that, the game now. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, was, that was release Aizawa. He was shit, but he could sometimes stop you from playing the game so his team could play. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I might be bugged to high hell, but you're not gonna play the game at all. Like, oh, okay. Even cool. when, like, when he came out, like, that thing took so long to come out as well, but when it worked, oh boy. That shit hurt. Oh, yeah. But, you know, he's why even bother. He has insane mobility. He can yeah. zoom around you unless you have, like, got here at fucking wrote a name. With Bakugo, you're not gonna catch him. It's, it's yeah. him. All right. He's annoying. <laughs> Next up, uh, twice. Samantha? If you want to, Cementos is why he's bothered. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I, no, 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 no further <laughs> comments on this. Yeah. Yeah. Just get it all the way. Just get it all the way. No, 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 no further comments. We all know where he's going. Who likes chasing a Cementos? <laughs> I don't think anyone does. No, hell no. I don't even like engaging a Cementos. I don't like the Cementos in the game. <laughs> yeah, Every I time. Like 
Oh, no, I'm going. Going. Every time I see a Cementos in game, I am praying they die before I run into them. God. Yeah, fight. when I when I fight Cementos, I'm like, shit, who booted Minecraft on my computer? Like why are we playing a different game? Like <laughs> For me, Cementos, so very rarely do I have like a hard time with the Cementos because like they, they do the same thing. They'll they'll fight you, they'll run, and then they'll lock themselves in somewhere and then I can kill them. But that's because I play Denki. Like the amount of times I've like I guess like you could call it cheese. The amount of times I've cheesed Lucian or Squee whenever they run into a building and <laughs> they just get baited to death it feels so good but like if i'm playing any other character i hate <laughs> <fighting> <laughs> dude. unless i can fly oh. up in the air and he has to throw paste at me while i'm in the air i hate fighting him while i'm on the ground <laughs> so bro that, that's how i feel when i'm playing as Froppy trying to fight him I, when you do one alpha, I get on top of him, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hit him with my beta combo real quick before you do anything. All of a sudden, why am I in the air? <laughs> why is there 50 blocks of cement all around me? Right. Like, when did I get ejected into the air with half of my health gone? <laughs> what happened? Where's the cement? My, my question is, where'd the cement toss go? <laughs> yeah, where did the cement Bro, go? Bro, it's crazy how he can place a block under him and he disappears. You become a blow yeah, with it's, cement. It's, it's, it's so stupid, dude. I lose cementos all the time. Like I don't understand how a character that doesn't have any move abilities just gets out. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. There's been so many frustrating times where I've used my alphas just to get up his little pillars, only for him not to be there. I'm just like, why? <laughs> yeah, why? exactly. He's just somewhere else completely. It's. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a goofy character. <laughs> anyway, moving on, twice. Yeah, yeah, twice. twice. Uh, no, no could this could well. vary, yeah. It depends. I agree. It's so hard Not to pin him down because he has so many things going for him. So Listen, he's I'm definitely going to go at it. If I walk into a building and I see twice, I'm like, whatever. If I walk into a building, I see twice, and then I round the corner, and I see that he has five boys, like, pulling up with him, <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Legit, I have seen a twice running down the street with a parade of clones behind him. I'm just like, hey, I've been there twice a couple times. Like <laughs> yeah, no, day, day, day one twice, fucking, I had seven clones up for, like, one of my first games. I was like, well, I am just winning. <laughs> like, twice alone is already kind of annoying to deal with. I've already said he shits on Froppy, so I have a nightmare of a time trying to deal with him but if he's also got a parade behind him it's just like i bro you I can't even play the game you're gonna get no you're gonna get beamed by like so many no. other clones the most i'm doing at that point i'll ping him <laughs> that's it that's all i'm doing i'll put it i'll put him in crease tier because <laughs> he has that, that insane variable to him <laughs> yeah all right Next up. I just hate getting hit in the back. He would only be why even bother if there was a way to make his clone army consistent. But because yeah, that's not because a thing, it's not consistent, yeah. It's cringe. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, honestly, one of these two. I don't know which one, though. I, I just think I'd it's cringe. cringe. I think I it's at the top cringe. of cringe. Yeah, the top, yeah, I can agree. Top of cringe for sure. King, King cringe for sure, but King cringe. Because cringe. Cringe. it's because it's either you get his ass or like he's just fucking like landed <laughs> on you and you're like, oh well, that's everything of my life. I guess life. I take <laughs> all my HP and damage. <laughs> it's landed one move. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I just hate that most Denkies just dash at you and expect it to work. <laughs> if they yeah. fix desync in this game, this character this would be character. way less of a problem. Oh, yeah. If you can dodge mm -hmm. your shit, he can't do anything. It's actually funny. I actually hate facing the brainlet thing. He's more than I did good thing. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ones that actually frustrate me more. Because <laughs> that's all they do. When they, when they stun you and then do the dome and you're like, but you, but you had a better combo. <laughs> 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 Alright, next up, Shoto Todoroki, and honestly, he used to be why I'm bothered here, I think he's just could go either way right now. Yeah, he could go. go either way. I think he's still cringe, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> his eyes didn't even go through your wall anymore. Yeah, but, he's, but he still upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> it's past trauma. <laughs> yeah, brothers. Like, 
Like he's he's like the favorite child. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got personal reasons why. Yeah. <laughs> got, just, uh... Honestly, I damn near say it's a good fight with Toto for me personally. I, I've, but then again, I've never really struggled that hard against Toto as a character, even when he was busted. It was just uh, his freeze that was annoying as fuck. But now, for sure, I, it's a good fight. I, honestly, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. But like, mm, yeah, I don't know. You I guys? think it's go either way, because either A, you see him and you engage in fisticuffs and he puts up a wall and you have to consider what you want to do, or he just freezes you in the back and it's the same Denki experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I think it's going to go either way for sure. It's like, there's so many variables to consider. Alright, yeah. Fair enough. Next up, Bakago. Why even bother? I hate this character. <laughs> <laughs> He just, he doesn't, bro, Bakugo players, just take away their alpha and they'll still be able to play the game. All they need is grenades. <laughs> they just need grenades. Uh, it's so rare that, it, uh, like, a Bakugo shoots me. Unless it's, like, the the big boys that I know, or Psycho, or, like, Key One in them. They just throw grenades at you and win. There, there's no trading with it. Yeah, as Froppy, I don't engage this character unless they're flesh. <laughs> unless, I'm, unless I'm engaging, I don't engage this character. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> I'd play mind games versus this motherfucker. Yeah, I agree with my even bother. He, he has so much damage. Burst, and he can just destroy you, jump around you. Like Unless you're shooting yeah. him down, he's gonna be shooting you at the top. My yeah. biggest problem is when they're level 9, they just start chucking grenades at the ground. Not even like at you, they just start throwing them at the ground underneath themselves. <laughs> yeah. And also, like, his attitude is not that good. He's always <laughs> being loud and angry at me. <laughs> He's always talking the same mean thing to me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Deku? I don't think he's viable bother, I think he's cringe. I think he's I think cringe. Think cringe too. Honestly, I think... The Batmaning Deku's are the cringe characters. The <laughs> Absolutely, the rat Deku's. <laughs> the rat Deku's. You know, on on paper, even though I know how good the character is, and I know how much of a terrible matchup he is for Froppy, I still would put him in a good fight just because I I genuinely have fun fighting this character. Like it when you when feel... you get to fight him, it's okay. When yeah, he's just sitting like... on top of a building. <laughs> it's when it's bad. Well, yeah, that that's annoying. But like when you actually like having a one be proper one be one kid, it's actually kind of fun. Yeah, no, I feel that. You don't feel like, like BS by being beat by a deck. Yeah, yeah. It's just cringe when they're being Batman. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> I'm Batman. This is my city. I'm Batman. <laughs> All right, how are we feeling about Alpha Deku or whatever this is called? Uh, Striker Deku. Uh, I, I put him in a good fight too. Yeah, it could go either way, fight. yeah. yeah. No, see? Same, 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 um, same thing. We go either way. I think Deku goes in the top of could go either way, though. Regular Deku? Yeah, yeah regular. I'd say that for sure, for sure. Sure. Very true. Sure. This looks pretty good. Yeah, Except this... Cementos needs to be in the top of why even bother. Absolutely correct. <laughs> I didn't consider this. I agree, 1000%. <laughs> I hate that character so much. Uh, <laughs> just bu they're gonna buff him again. They're gonna give him. Uh, bro, no, HP. please. Oh, God, <laughs> He's a three. Geez. He's a three of Maggie. <laughs> He's a four. I don't even know, dude. What season, season are we four. on? So, uh, we're in season three right now. So yeah. Yeah. Season four, season please. Four. Season four, please. I beg you. Remove him. They're gonna buff him. <laughs> Five hundred HP, and then they're gonna give him twelve more gammas. No. <laughs> All right. That's it for this play. Uh, play list. For this tier list. Uh, characters that are fun or not fun to fight. Ooh. Uh, this one is going to be uh, a simple uh, S to D. This is the twice clone tier list. Now I play <laughs> twice a lot, so I will have to be biased on a lot of these. But I'm gonna. I want to hear opinions from all of you. So uh, let's just start with. Oh, did I die again? Well, okay, yep. sorry. So bad. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> wait, 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 before before anything, just just put Aizawa in S tier, please. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> if you haven't seen an Aizawa clone and you think it's bad, which I've heard people say, no, he is the strongest, even stronger than Bakugo. Yeah, it's, it's as a clone. clone. Now, now tell me why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> you don't get to play the game. <laughs> if you don't know how clones work, Kaka, because you haven't played a game for five weeks. No, I know how they work. I just want to hear it. <laughs> yep. They can only use their alphas and melees. Yeah. Aizawa's alpha is his grab. Mm -hmm. He can do two things with that alpha. He can grab you and keep you in place so the rest of the team can beat his ass. And he can <laughs> do the alpha grab you and pull you in and do melees himself. Or he can do that, but in the air and stomp you down for a billion damage. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> because they have miss. a bot. No, he can't miss. He can't miss. But he doesn't miss often. <laughs> and because he, he has all that, he, he will he will keep you locked down so much. I, I've seen like Froppies try to jump in and just get snagged by the Aizawa bot. And I'm like, how did you even get where where did that even come from? <laughs> it's just funny. Got I've actually made a clone of Aizawa many times playing twice, but I've never actually seen what they do in action. They are. You need to take care of your clones. Gotta, gotta, gotta yeah. pat them the head, you gotta guide them through this dangerous They're world. the only ones that I never... It's funny, I, I take care of the rest, but they're the, for some reason, they're all, the only ones that just disappear on me. Like, I have no idea what happens. I clone them and then they just do their own thing. I don't... It's possible that their team just revived them. That is true, too. Mm -hmm. Because whenever they get revived, the clone dies. Very sad. I'm tragic. I just want more clothes. I just want more eyes always. But you know, I've had the game where I had two eyes always, and man, we didn't win that game because they died in a fight. But man, that fight, they 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 were like maybe two teams with us in that fight. The eyes always went crazy. The eyes always killed like two people on their own <laughs> while we were busy fighting the other the the oncoming asses of attacks. They had, they had dry eyes, but those eyes saw in 360 degrees. They were just blasting alphas, locking people down. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Next up in the S tier category, Bakugo. Clones can see through walls once they got a lock on on you. You yep. can just literally shoot through walls. Yep. There's not much not, else to say. I've experienced this on both ends. Mm -hmm. Watching it happen and then having it happen to me, this shit is terrifying. <laughs> we got to climb against the Bakugo clone. <laughs> Yep, you can't go through behind a wall. He's just gonna shoot you anyway. You have to kill him. You have to deal with him. Or That's just the go across the map. Go across the map. I'm just glad that they can't throw grenades. Oh my god, <laughs> I lose my mind. I would lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I see a Bakugo grenade. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up on the list, my old lady. Uh, I think <laughs> because of her HP, she's a tier. Her alphas aren't great, yeah. but her baileys are not <laughs> She's just But I think because she has a, a good HP bar on her, I think she, mm. she can do a lot. Good, good HP, lots of shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's pretty good, yeah. Pretty decent. Yeah. Cementos. Gotta hit his character. This, he, he's a, I think he's he, S. He is <laughs> he's S here. S. He is absolutely S. <laughs> The cement tosses will somehow, I don't know why, aim for your feet while you're on the oh, ground. Really? They, I don't know why they aim for the feet, but they all they like they they hit people on the ground and it, like they hit them with like both the damage. Just I don't know why this happens. I've seen it happen multiple times. <laughs> They're crazy. They're pretty good. I get blasted. Unless you go behind the wall and then they keep shooting the wall and not do anything. But you know that's a uh, that's sort of thing. <laughs> Yeah, no, they they are they are pretty good at it, their aim for some reason. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Rocky. D. Yeah. Useless. Hell no. Yeah. Useless. <laughs> oh, they're not useless. They can do damage, but she got look, but like, she gets looked at and she dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, she, she dies so quickly. There's been so many yeah. times I made Rocky clones and just like she you're does. just a wet yep. uh, I'll just put a chocolate yeah. next to her because it's the same issue. Mm -hmm. You guys gotta look that. No. I'd actually put Ochako above Froppy because I've seen Ochako clones get active, dude. <laughs> really? Yes, I have seen Ochako clones do some crazy shit. Just out of the blue. Like, it's not consistent by any means. 
when, when they'll just randomly decide that they just want to be the next ninja warrior and <laughs> chase somebody to high hell. Bro, it, I, I haven't seen it happen, but I can imagine an Ochako just or a Froppy just like attack someone in the air, get dragged to them, and then attack them again, and then just keep <laughs> just keep the cycle going. I don't know how possible that is, but it sounds funny, so I'm gonna put her in C for that. And she has way more alphas. Actually, no, she has the same amount of alphas that, that Frog does, I think. I'm not sure. I think Ochako has like five alphas, right? Uh, well, as a clone, she definitely holds it. Oh, as a clone. Right. I'm not, I still don't know, because sure I keep saying it, but I think they, all the clones are level four under alphas. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. You could try that out there. Uh, but yeah, I think she, if, if you're saying that she could do that, I will believe you. I'll put her on C for fun. But she is also just made of paper. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Maybe because when you see a frog, you just want to kill the frog immediately, no matter if it's a clone or not, because you don't know it's a clone. Maybe that's why she does it faster. <laughs> it's very <laughs> possible. Definitely. It's very possible, that's why. Alright. Weiss himself is definitely... Uh, annoying. annoying. Honestly... Yeah, it's just a better beta clone. It's just a better... <laughs> well, he doesn't go away. Yeah, no, he's a better beta clone in the sense that he doesn't expire. Yeah. He is very good. Just damage. It's 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 whatever. Right, Compress. I haven't had the chance to clone many Compresses, but I've never seen him do too good. There, it's, Ooh, put it in wow. D tier. It's yeah. pretty bad. Because they I've don't never... keep their trucks. Yeah, no, they don't keep the trucks. I think they. What? Like, I don't know what they keep. That's the thing. They throw. They throw the barrel. It's oh, really yeah. bad. I see. They don't do anything significant. And they, they miss a lot. Yeah, no, they don't. It's just a hit. <laughs> yeah, I guess the Amos is kind of fucks him over because like he doesn't shoot where people are normally. He shoots yeah. where they're like kind of going to be. Yeah. Momo. Be just... What? I think Momo's an A tier clone. It's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, her alpha yeah, is. She has a lot of HP. She, her alpha is actually stun lock you, and she doesn't do with them. Like she doesn't do one, two, three right away. She can like stagger her alpha, which is even worse. For you. Right. Depending on how she feels, really. That's just an automatic flies water. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Toga. Toga clones. I want to put them basically next to twice. Yeah. She can just like laser you down with her daggers. If he feels like it. <laughs> Damn near worse than twice because you can just machine gun that shit. Yep. Absolutely. Uh Dinky Clones, yeah. also A tier. You don't yeah, have that much range. And she can put traps down, but that it, it barely doesn't do anything. It's but, but the Dinky Clones do still leave the net though, don't they? They do. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Well so that's like extra value. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> there we go. Up of A tier. It doesn't do that much, but it's okay. It, okay. it can do something. You can set up a, a zone where you're like, I... <laughs> I'm gonna be the enemy and help this Deki set up a net trap. And my team, mm -hmm. you will not do anything with it. Uh, Todoroki. <clears throat> Pretty decent. I think yeah. it's like A or B tier. I think he's higher than yeah. for A tier, because he has way more range. Yeah, for sure. He's not nothing special. He... You can do dots, I guess. <laughs> Dot of damage. Nothing too crazy. Hiroshima. Now, you cool. might think he's a D tier. I personally think he's an S tier. I think he's a really? B tier. Really? Yes. The amount of times I've put, like, first of all, 400 HP base. For me. Fair enough. Uh, the amount of times I've seen a Hiroshima lock down a character with his alpha for oh. way longer than he should have. Oh. <laughs> It's so funny because like they're not tied to neck to the inter the neck code. They're not tied to like like if you're laggy and you're using your alpha, you're gonna run through people. He's not yeah, tied to that. Know. He's gonna lock you down no matter what. Right. Maybe not S tier. Maybe like maybe like bottom of A or B tier. But, like I've I've had I've had times where like there's a there's a team, and I down someone and there's a frog, and the Kirishima for some reason is on that frog locking her down, giving me time to kill the guy I down. It's so good. <laughs> Okay, fair it's, enough. It's, yeah, it's, so, it's so good. Like, he can't do much. He doesn't have a range attacks. But he can do stuff. He can he can yeah. do some mean things. <laughs> yeah, when he locks down, it's pretty good. I can yep. see that. And he will lock you down. He, he can't not lock you down. It's, it's, it's really good. Alright. Um, Chigaraki. 
I don't know how to feel I think about it's that guy. Huh? Shit, I feel him, dude. I don't know. I don't see how to do anything. Yeah, I don't know how to feel. Like, he, he can do things, but, like, he has the same problems as Robo Shigaraki, where people can just fucking jump your shit. And he's even worse because he's going to keep shooting no matter what. Yeah, it is even more predictable. So yep. it's just like, he's there's just nothing a, tricky he can do because he's a bot. Yeah, there's not much he can do, unfortunately. Um, Striker Deku. I actually don't think I've ever cloned a Striker Deku. Or, you have, it's just they never do anything. They don't feel like he does much. Like, his alpha, like they never yeah. aiming their alphas is the thing. I've all I've cloned a striker deck before. It really didn't do much. I actually, funnily enough, I cloned one in the video, uh, the uh, Rumble Roulette video with Skosh. And I, it's funny. I cloned a striker deck and a regular deck, and I think the regular deck was putting in way more work. Oh yeah, striker. Yeah. Deku. Like striker. Like the thing is, that clones don't aim in. No, so yeah. like his his attack is just going to be spread, and he's not going to do too much damage because of that. So I agree. I I, I don't think he's deep. I think he may, maybe C. Yeah, just yeah, so just because he has a little bit of range and he can, he has more HP yeah. than Ochako and Frog. He's not totally useless. Yeah, I just don't think he's good. Let's just put a regular Deku on also like top of A tier along with Todoroki. Yeah, same same thing, just long range. Okay, melees. Endo. Endo is actually, in my opinion, pretty good. Like she doesn't yeah. have she doesn't have range, but I think she's better than Nikki. Like the shotgun, Ooh. the melees that she can lock down with you. Right? Not bad. Not bad at all. Like you, you call the Kendo, like I have a shotgun now. <laughs> I feel like she's just Kendo without the things that make Kendo good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really made a lot of Kendo clones. I can't really speak to her. I think she's like, just, just the fact that she has 400 HP. Like, I mean, she's dark. HP is, is useful, yeah. yeah. And she doesn't miss her alphas if she's close range, which she's usually. Oh, for some reason, I love running at enemies. <laughs> so, I don't know if you've experienced this look, by the way. Just backtracking a bit to the yeah, Deku go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. For some reason, I always see them get um get a finish off and get shield. Like they consistently do that shit whenever yeah, I get I, one. That, now that I think about it, that Deku close for some reason, yeah, go for, for finishes for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, that, uh, that happened like that happens to me with like Deku clones and sometimes even like Bakugos. I don't know. Yeah, the most I've seen it happen with is Deku clones and a Momos. I see, I see. Yeah, I did see it happen with a Momo once as well. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the the maybe some clones are have the AI just to be a little more melee focused. I don't know. Yeah, I think the Momo one makes sense because if, if she downs somebody that's near her, she's yeah, automatically she, like uh, for melee. For she's melees, and eventually off. the melee is going to be on the body and it does right. finish animation. Exactly. But yeah, but yeah, uh, just me. I don't know how you guys feel. Like Akka, Skashi. How do you feel about uh, for Kendo? 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 Yeah. I, I think it would be personally. Yeah, I think she's a B tier clone for sure. The the weird thing about Kendo clone is that. I don't feel like it runs the same check as like the regular shotgun throw. I feel like it's different because I almost always get hit by it. That's just because they have aim assist. <laughs> well, yeah, I know they have aim assist, but like, I, not just like one of the rocks. It's usually just like all of the rocks. Yeah, that's what I'm day. saying. <laughs> that's what I'm. That, that, that's why I was like, she's eight tier because like, she has server side aim, yeah. <laughs> so she can maybe, like maybe eight tier at like best. Like I, I think she's better than Kirishima. Like maybe like a little, a little bit better than Momo, but I think she's like below Momo for sure, in my opinion. Just because I've cloned a lot of Kendos and I've, I've observed yeah. the clones. They're pretty good. I, I can see it. I think she's way better than. I'll give you credit for partially Kendo mains. Uh, Please. <laughs> I think, oh, yeah, A is pretty good for sure. I think, I think she's A personally. Endeavor clones. These motherfuckers. Are so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so the top and never player in the in the meta. So like this guy is like fucking Bob Smith does. Like yeah, he he's very good. Like <laughs> I can like just constant damage on you if he goes for the alpha. It's crazy. If the Endeavor clones were allowed to play ranked on their own, they would be at the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> they would be number one Endeavor. <laughs> That constant tracking alpha is a nightmare. Honestly, I have I have more troubles fighting the Endeavor clones than I do actual Endeavor players. <laughs> yeah, absolutely correct. But 
Imagine if you could throw javelins too. <laughs> Woo! Oh, boy. boy. <laughs> it would be Yikes. it would have menace. All my clones, honestly. They have a lot of HP. They, they have a lot of body. They are body. They're gonna be body. I think they're top of A. Okay. Big HP, decent damage. They're under A. Ida. Ida's weird. He has been a favor, but like if he hits someone, he actually does the full combo. Which is he very does, interesting. Yeah, uh, but he, I've, I've seen him just do some like, really weird shit though. Yeah, no. Like, the way the... the I don't know. The clothes are so weird. But I think he is... I, I gotta give Kirishima a friend here. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know about you, but for some reason, all my Eda clones love to run into Storm. Like, when, even when I'm not there, like, I cannot <laughs> anywhere near Storm, because they would just dive into that shit, just like, why? Why? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Some, some clones just love being in a Storm, just using their bailings for no reason. Like Ibarra. <laughs> or Ibarra, I don't know what's wrong with her, but she loves going into Storm and not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ibarra clones. Ibarra clones... They're alright. They have a lot of HP. They can, they can like, use the alphas to stun people and be annoying. I think they're, like, ar around, like, B tier as well. Yeah, their alpha works on, like, the player you borrow. So, like, <laughs> True. <laughs> That's actually, I'm actually curious. Did the Abara clones experience the Abara bugs too? Or do they just get their shit consistent? No, they get a shit consistent. Because no, the reason just... the, the alpha bug exists, uh, if you didn't know, is because it's running through the damage through the server instead of client side. Like the hits. Right, right. So you have to hit where they're going to go if you want to do damage. Because it's like the server is so laggy for some reason, it, it takes so long to process it. So, like, you have to, like, basically hit someone to, in the location that they're going to be, like, half a second later. So, because the clones don't have to deal with that shit because they run through the server, they just get free damage. <laughs> they don't care. Which is why she's not C tier. Set is a heavy uh, too, in my opinion. I don't know what that and also 400 HP stays a lot. Yeah, well, like 400 HP is pretty good. Ah, me. This is the only clone that doesn't benefit from aimbot. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is the aimbot. He already has. <laughs> it's pretty good. I do think Dobbies are okay. Yeah, he, he plays like. About the same as most Dobby players. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> he never uses his game, it's very unfortunate, but his alpha game is pretty good. I think they're very good because they don't run out of ammo, it's just infinite tracking bullets. Honestly, pretty yeah. much. It's, it's the buff Dobby needs is infinite tracking bullets. There we go. <laughs> he's F tier, actually. I think he's gonna be below all my. But above. I'd even put him below Deku. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, Deku would totally the same character. There we go. Yeah. Honestly, Dobby should just have infinite alphas. <laughs> I don't know why he has so little, like... <laughs> but whatever. Well, yeah. I do think he's very good. I've had a game where Dobby is shooting, and we see where he's shooting, and his fucking bullets just going towards a building that we didn't even check. Like, ah, there's someone in there, I see. <laughs> yeah, I remember that happened. Dobby clones will shoot up snitch. <laughs> just, yeah, his, his, his GPS is like... He knows your location. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they are good. So yeah, this is the definite uh, uh, twice clone tier list. If you have any, anything to say on the comments, you're wrong, and everything here is right, and uh, you should feel a change. Anyway, uh, any last words, everybody? Thank you for joining me, by the way. Yeah, this was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, go check their content out as well. EA, Black Dragon EA over here is making a YouTube series on on Rumble. Would you like to detail on it, what it is? Yes, so what I do is I take uh, Ace Rate players in the game and I put them in a situation they're not necessarily used to by uh, having them spin a roulette and randomly get a character from that roulette and then all three of us go in and play games until we win one with the, that randomly generated team. It's a bit of fun. If you guys like a little a bit, a bit of randomness and zaniness, I suggest you go check it out and uh, see what's up. Skashi over here was a part of the first couple of episodes, as long as up, uh, as well as Dry Buddy, a well-known Kindle on PC. But yeah, if you guys are interested in that, if that sounds cool to you. Go check that out. Yeah. 
All right, Skashi. Skashi also streams the game every once in a while. Uh, I've slowed down on streaming just because of a new job, but hopefully that's going to be picking up soon. Uh, check me out at skashi.ttv. The links to all of them will be in the description, just so everybody knows. And Akka. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't have anything to promote. I, I do stream, but like, uh, just buff Dobby. Honestly, complain to the devs. Uh, <laughs> give him a second special action. That's all I want. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's the Dobby spokesperson. He's there to promote Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I see the game with a different vision. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been luck. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in season four, five, six. I don't know. Five, four, four, four is the next one. Four. Ah. Twelve. <laughs>